All right, we're back to another. Hey, we don't even like calling here. it a podcast, but this is a conversation amongst yes. gentlemen. This okay? is our full show already. Yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. This but is there's only one way to really start this. Yes, how it is. You know how it is. Wait, wait, wait. I'm three, one, two. Grant Miller here. Let's go, baby. We got Grant Miller in the house yes, with thank Kiko. Thank you, Grant, for being here, brother. Uh, I'm actually it's honored my, to be in front of both of you guys. Okay, yeah, right yeah, now. We, we had to do this, me and him. This guy's yeah. full energy all the time. Yeah. Man, I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up. You know I'm pumped up? His son's going to be going to Columbus. Is That's it right. Pretty exciting. How big We're, is he? He's like 5'10". He's 5'10", huge. 180 he's pounds. 13? 13. That's big crazy. Kid, big kid. 5'10". Five, 5'10". Five, five, 185. That means that Kiko has good sperm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah. The, the, cl- the shop is closed. Yeah. No, no, definitely closed. No, but I'm, I'm super excited. But you know what it is to be in that brotherhood. Whole brotherhood. And, and I'm all for it. My two younger brothers, Adrian and Andy, they went to uh, Columbus. So I, our houses have to buy that. I went to St. Brendan, but it's four of us. So yeah, St. Brendan's has changed a lot. Oh, my you. God. St. Brendan looks like a, like a, the most modern university now. It's amazing how, how Beautiful. far it's gone. And football, they got there too. So I got a little heat for putting them in Columbus, but. We're at the end, it's all family, and I can't wait to get started. But the Columbus Mafia is real. Yes, yes, yes. They it's are not powerful. It's a mafia. It's, 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 a, it's a brotherhood. A brotherhood. <laughs> I like it. Listen, <laughs> it, when I have a, a kid, brotherhood, that's right. the day I have a son, I'm going to send him to Columbus. Ah, yeah, and, I, and, and I, I made a decision because of him. Yeah, but, yeah. It, but by the way, it's very difficult to get into Columbus. I'll it's figure a legacy. It out. Yeah. So, but here or there, it's great brotherhood. I coached here many years ago. Yeah, and, you told me. That's and amazing. it's crazy. Oh, what did you coach? Baseball and football. I was not. I was not the head coach. Well, I was head coach of freshman baseball. But most of those guys that I coached, the defensive backs, and then freshman baseball, I'm still in contact with them. That's that's one of them was just at my office. He's a multimillionaire. Wow. That's we we just had Andrew Moran here last week doing the, doing the podcast with us. The basketball coach. He's the bomb. Yeah, He's that's right. It's the, about the, to drop. It's about the hoops, to drop. That's too. right. That's right. Yeah, big big time. Big time. Yeah, big, big time. time. He works with the Boozer Brothers. Yeah. What the Boozer Brothers? They they the keep Boozer winning on the squad. They keep winning state titles for basketball. Yeah. Okay, they all, they're all June, so they got one more year, right? I yeah. think uh, yeah, they got one more year. Yeah, Actually, do. I'm not sure if they're going to college already or not. But, but he yeah. just the basketball coach, class act, great guys. He was here. All right, Grant. So for those of you who don't know you, right, tell us a little by yourself, and you know, uh, you know, I, I think more than anything, I know you personally from Miami Community News. Yeah. Um, I'm very interest, interested in how that even started. Uh, or tell us a little about you yourself and, and the operation that you run. Well, it's interesting because a lot of my people have no idea what I do for a living. <laughs> no, no, because I, I coach baseball. And I used to coach football, but I coach baseball, youth baseball, for, you know, 30, 40 years. Wow. So those people don't know. Right now yeah. I'm coaching a team. The 11 parents, 10 don't know, have no clue. They just know that I come out and coach. I have games, got practices, and that's awesome. it. They don't know. I just do it because, first of all, I love doing it. Plus, it's the greatest exercise. Yeah, of course. I, you know, I being throw, out there. I throw 500, 600 pitches a day. Wow. I pick up 150 loose baseballs. That's in good shape. Yeah. yeah. So I've coached baseball and football most of my life. So th- that's a segment. And my brother and I have been in the newspaper business. Well, in the media business now, you should be just newspapers. Yeah. yeah. Print media. 42 years. 42 years. Got 30 more. Wow. And at 97, I'm calling it quits. Okay, that's good. But you I guys have it. a very uh, interesting it. model where you have brought hyper local news, kind of like what the Instagram does now with certain pages. You brought hyper local news to like individual cities or, or municipalities. So you right. have like a Pinecrest newspaper. We have we have 11 newspapers, but each newspaper has its own newsletter, and yeah. we have a countywide newsletter. So uh, it's pretty powerful. Because people get confused. Where did I see that story? Did I see it online? Did I see it in print? It happens to me. And, and it's good because when they, people do that, that means the message is getting across. No. Uh, we write, well, a lot of hard-nosed political stories, things that the county's not doing right, certain cities. They, we write about their mayor or their commissioner. Yeah. And uh, that's how we keep connected. Yeah. So, and I, I think that's needed. Right. And we, we, the people of Dade County, need somebody watching the other people. Yeah, which, I mean, I know a lot of people hate him, but I think Billy Corbin does a decent job at, like, calling people out, you know? I Maybe maybe not a big fan of the approach of it, of, like, you know, but he does put people okay. on the spot. Yeah. The, the message is correct. Maybe you don't like the way he delivers correct, it. Correct, yeah. But he he does his research. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like him. He's short like me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I never met him in person, but... Yeah, yeah he's, he's short like me, but he, he gets the message out. The thing is that he comes off sometimes like a Miami hater, you know? No, he loves Miami. Nah, he I, loves I know Billy personally. It's just, uh, like you said, it's his delivery and the years of frustration and nothing happening. 
it'll get to you. And then you got to, like I tell you sometimes, you got to like stay even keel and not blow your top when things don't get done or try to work different ways around it. Yeah. You know? I think with Grant, the way he does it, you kind of see him at all these events and stuff and the energy. So he's not only just talking about it and, and being community and, and in his papers, but you also get to see him in person. And right, I'm. I, I he's a solid follow. Is what I'm trying to say, yeah, guys, yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, I, I I go. I go to all the. Right, events. you're there. You're you there. Know, and if I write a story about an elected official, I'm not. I'm there. So yeah, like, you're gonna pull up on him. Right, <laughs> and if you disagree with my opinion or my brother's opinion, yeah. we'll run your opinion. Same spot, same place. Sure, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. We, the goal goal yeah. is to open communication. Run it back. But you guys do a lot of political events at Casa Cuba. We do, uh, yes, we've had, well, we do it at uh, Casa Cuba or a location in Pinecrest. We've had the governor twice. We've gone down uh, Marco Rubio. We've had... Yeah, uh, Chris Christie on Chris, I was there. Chris Christie, he flew in from New Jersey. We had... Uh, one Did the he? You know he ate for sure, right? He had, something, <laughs> he had something to eat for sure, right? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he makes you and me together. Yeah, skinny. he's a big eater. He's a big yeah, eater crazy. like me. See, um, we've had uh, David Beckham speak. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've... And that was down in Evelyn Greer Park. In two weeks, we have uh, Archbishop Winsky. You know, we try to get... It's not for... It's for everybody to understand what things going on in Miami. And there, there's so many great things going on in Miami. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, people oh, see... Oh, he sees the negative, right? Yeah. Right. There's so many great things. I mean, yeah. how long have you been here? I've been here all my life, 46 yeah. years. And you are born where? Westchester, baby. What? I, what size are you? Westchester. You're two X? No, I'm a four X. Oh, because I have shirts say I love Westchester. <laughs> okay, so you grew up in Miami? I grew up in Miami. I was I'm from Hialeah actually originally. Ah, um, Viva Hialeah! Hialeah. <laughs> Raúl Martínez. My, my my parents saw like my cousins growing up, and they're like, uh, "You ain't growing up like this." And they moved to Kendall. No, uh, first of all, Steve Bovo, the mayor of Hialeah, is just doing a great, Steve's great a good job. Friend of yeah. mine. Steve's. I was on. The, Steve was uh, in Isla Morada with us and with uh, my buddy uh, Rudy Nunez, uh, Janet's brother-in-law. He had ran for the county mayor. Right. He lost. He lost to he, he went, Cava. Yeah. He took over a city that's very blue collar. He has changed things so quickly. You know, it's not cheap to live in Hialeah. The average home is over half a million. Wow. So he's he just keeps pushing yeah, and pushing. Yeah. There's the definitely print. facelifts going all around the city. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, it's very exciting. Yeah. What about food for this guy? I see well, him so do some food I, stuff too, trying to take my territory over. What do you think? Yeah, so we'll I, for sure you. I can never take your territory. <laughs> okay, why? Tell me. No, don't get into it deep. <laughs> Eddie, you asking me? I know I was gonna ask you right now. No, no, no. Your top three barbecue places. <laughs> oh, why is it? Top three. <laughs> All right, well, top he, four. he went for the juggler with you. Okay, no. Top let's, three barbecue let's, places. Let's divide Kiko. the county. We got north, northwest. We got south. We got west. Give me, give me a couple of them. <laughs> okay, I, I like apocalypse and what Jeff's doing. Because it's Lo in my hood. Lock, local owner, love him. Uh, smoke and uh, dough. Out in West Kendall, Harry. Owns Harry and Panazzi. They're smoking doughs. What, how far is that west? West Kendall, far as hell. A 152 and Bird. That's next to Naples. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's west, west it's Kendall, but worth the drive. <laughs> worth the drive. And um, I don't know. Let's see. Another barbecue spot. Hmm. Okay, give know. me some other food that you love eating. I love sandwiches. Like where? Like Sandwich in Miami, I think is my number one sandwich spot for a Cuban. I got to ask Burger uh, Beast. Burger Beast, what is Burger your Beast? Opinion? He's coming on. Yes, I've called him a couple when? of times. He's coming on next week. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I grew him. up with Seth. Seth no was, Seth was a friend. freshman when I... No, he was a senior when I was coming in as a freshman at St. Brendan. And we're both from Westchester. He's the best. It's funny because when I, I, I... He was my first follow on IG many years ago. And when I started my little thing, people were like... We kind of like faked a little beef on IG just to get kind of interaction and stuff. And people would say, oh, you know, fuck that guy, the beast. You know, he's a, he's a fat guy. And, or his people would say, Kiko, why are you trying to be that burger beast? There's only... And then we would like try each other and shit like that. Like bullshit. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then and talk about traction. it. He, and then made traction. And people were saying, we were, just, we were just laughing, like saying how people just like, they want they want drama. And we're like yeah. the best of he, friends. He has two events. Yeah. The um, Coqueta event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. Yes, so, yes. Okay. The, two years ago, I went. I had... All over, I ate like fifteen of them, right? I go to each place, <laughs> so I'm leaving. He says, "We need a contestant to compete for the, who can eat the most." I just ate fifteen of them. <laughs> Don't tell me you won. No, you crazy. There's <laughs> one guy in a minute stuffed like twelve down. I go, "Holy cow!" I can wow. barely eat three. Yeah. But the other one, his burger one. Is yeah, that's oh. the best one. That's oh. the best burger. But I'll tell you, Grant, you go out as much as Kiko does. I see you everywhere, right? Um, so give me your Top five doesn't have to be in any particular category. 
your top five go to spots to eat something? Okay. Well, I like like local owned places, and I like yeah. places that you know different types of people like are betters. I go there three times a week. Okay. Uh, maybe more. Well, the number one hot dog in the world is the Grant Miller hot the dog. The Grant Miller hot dog. It's wow. a jumbo, right? Yeah, jumbo. Jumbo hot dog. Yeah. But you, in, go I, you go to our betters, and there's a millionaire sitting here, and somebody making five dollars. I love that. Okay. Or you go to, I just, I, it's I, a I legendary love, spot. Right? I yeah. love the right, exactly. Legendary it's like Frankie spot. Pizza. Yeah. Frankie's. That's you know, my best pizza. People, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. People go to Frankie's and they go, "Why do they give you an extra piece on top?" Oh go, because you go home and you bring a whole pizza home. Yeah. But I eat a big cheese. Big uh, cheese is good. I eat, they, they have I a great pizza. Cheese. What about meat. their seafood pasta? You know, nobody knows about the seafood pasta at Big Cheese. Have you had it's it? huge. It's huge. Thank yeah, you. He knows. I haven't been. Oh, no. He knows. And, and their number one pizza is, yes, the Grant Miller pizza. Oh, wow. So you have no. two, 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 legend. No, two, no. two many items. But the reason you like Big Cheese, local owners. There yeah. are some waiters that have been there 10, 15, 20 wow. years. It's such uh, a great vibe every time you go to Exactly. It's a... Totally... Um, Your third? My third? Down south. My man, Giuseppe. Seven. Anna Capri. Anna Capri. That's mine. And the problem is when you Palmetto go... Palmetto Bay Pinecrest. The problem when you go to Anna Capri is you can't sneak in and out because he spills <laughs> all over you. You know, it's like, <laughs> I got to eat like this because I spill it all you over slurp you. slurp the sauce yeah. and get your shirt dirty. I'm king of that. Yeah, uh, but I love that spot, brother. The vibe, too, is amazing. Trying to get a table spot. on a Friday night. It's impossible. Yeah. You know, a great place in Hialeah is, is well, they st it's Stevens. Oh, my God. The deli and the rube in there. Yeah. I've been yeah, fired. Owned by, now Kush bought it. Now, Good. Yeah. It's a Jewish deli. And uh, yeah. it was the number one Jewish deli in almost wow. I love South it. Florida I love in it. the 40s and 50s in Hialeah. Most in the heart of Hialeah. Hialeah. Yeah, it is. The, the heart of Hialeah. Yeah, yeah. And your fifth? Your fifth. Wow. Well, I, I, what I, about a sandwich spot? Like a sandwich spot that you like going to? Like, wait, tell me one of your favorite. Um, Jolano's? Jolano's Deli, yeah, my buddy right Julio, now. he's amazing, yeah. young young entrepreneur. Uh, I said sandwich in Miami, and the Kiko Cubano at Chevere Cheese, yeah. which is our pretty basically our only cheese market yeah. in Miami uh, from Chevere. Now I, I, I'm tongue twisted right now, but the burger place, Lejeune in US One. He's a basketball player. He was a basketball player, right? On says Wahoo Steaks. Burger place, no. Burger Lejeune Steaks, US One. Oh, US One in Lejeune. I'll remember in a second. He played basketball. He's a poker player. You'll remember it. It's one of your people. I'll remember it. I've gone there a couple times. Not Shake Shack? No. No. No, nah, Shake Shack, no. No, no. One block in. But that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, yeah, it'll come to me. Yeah, well, you remember it. Okay. Yeah, but you know what? Not talking to you both for you guys. Uh, there's something interesting that I want to know personally. You, how many places in the city have a Kiko item on the menu? Oh, um... 50 of them. No, they were, I've, I've had a bunch, but they're like time. They're like. Yeah, but how many? Like, season, give me, name, oh, name, I, name out man, the places that had a Kiko Pinch item. Pinch Miami, on we did a Kiko burger okay. like five, six years ago. Um, Pincho? Pincho burger? Pincho? No, 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 no. Pinch. Pinch, Pinch. down in North Miami. Um, <coughs> Chef John over there. We did a, a, a Kiko burger and it had caramelized onions with guava. It was insane. I've had a shake uh, done with my buddy Caesar. Uh, Gonzalez for Kiko Shake and had a nice little umbrella. I got the Cubano now at Chevere. Um, but I should I we should, I should have more items. Ice cream. Where do, where's your favorite ice cream place? Oh, ice cream, azúcar. Azúcar? azúcar. Okay. Susie Battle is a friend of mine. Not just because she's a friend of mine. She went to Ice Cream University. Like in Did, Pennsylvania do you know the whole story? Yeah. yeah. Uh, she was, she, yeah. It was in the mortgage business. Yeah, yeah, Bill, totally, totally. Bill I've been going since my kids were born, Grant. Bill Fuller's the whole thing. Today. Yeah. So, okay, so I go there. On 8th Street, and this is the great thing about the story, they, they have a, not like an emergency for cars to park right in front. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you open the door, it slides in on the sidewalk. Yeah, so what I do, I pop the trunk, I put my blinkers on like I'm moving something, I run in and run out. Get your oh, stuff. my God. You got the, the city hack. The city hack. Listen, but you, 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 you were born and raised in Miami. Born and raised. So, and you've been in the newspaper media industry, and you've written, you, you, you've right. been a writer, a publisher, et cetera. How have you seen the city change, you know, the last 20 or so years? What have you think is the biggest difference? Sort of a question. It, it's what's going on. A Miami, massive boom. Yeah. Miami's not like it used to be. Oslo. We're in it. Moving and fast. Everybody, Miami's the Incredible. greatest place to live. Come on. Everybody, you know, all these people moving from Chicago, New York. This guy Griffin, he's what he's throwing money around because he wants everybody to know. He, he loves Miami. Yeah. yeah. So it's. I think we're moving so quickly. It's just exciting. The vibe, you know, Bird Road. Here's why I love Miami. Started Bird Road. 
go from Bird Road and 57th all the way out. Cuban steak, Nicaraguan steak, American steak, Honduran steak, Chinese. Every, there's so many nationalities yeah. on Bird yeah. Road restaurants. And they've been there for forever. years. It's not like it's... Right. Yeah. So that's how Miami is. It's like, it's everywhere. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And recently they've been getting recognized now for like the food quality now recently, where you talked about Adam oh. Roth with that, you know, but now before oh. it wasn't until a couple of years ago, we had Michelin chef restaurants. No, no. Yeah. Michelin Miami just, they just had the, the Michelin star. <laughs> I give a, um, are you, do, you like those, do you like those restaurants? I do once in a while. Absolutely. A lot of my friends are, are, are those kind of chefs and, and um, you know what? You got to go to the good ones because it is going to be expensive, but sometimes it's worth it. I think I'm not scared of a fancy restaurant or anything like that, especially because it's either one of my guys or somebody I know. But there's just good quality food, you know. And like you said, it, it's such a huge influx of people now that it's kind of have to be the most expensive world uh, place in the country because everybody's here. It's yeah. like a, a market, you know, for everybody. Look at Brickle, how many buildings and the construction. But you miss all that's done. It's going to be amazing. Michelin the problem is they don't serve bread. These fancy restaurants. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I went to one place and they <laughs> handed true. me one roll. It's true. And I, uh, uh, sometimes I go, I know I need a whole basket of bread. <laughs> you know, I like it's so true. Like, it's I like true. It's true. Bread. I like that bread. It's true. Like I do, in my I, soup. I do like to go out there sometimes and get sent fancy. So I mean, I'm guilty of that, but. Uh, it's good, man. Like I said, it's good, and it's like it's a, it's building, and and, and you, got, and you like, guys are like the true foodies of the city. Though. No, he's a foodie. <laughs> like, I, I, listen, I, I I go everywhere. I test. And you guys don't even charge. You guys strictly go you for free yeah. to you support. Are, hey, you know, you know I'll put some pictures up if you feed me. Yeah, there's, there's two great places. There's a couple. The one in Miami Lakes, the Mayor. Mayor Sid. You see the, like, you that see the breakfast place? French toast. It's this delicious. Big. Delicious. Uh, I told I, them, I said, what are you going to do for office? You should just open a bunch of these. But yeah. it's really good. Real good. And it's Miami Lake, so it's worth the drive for me. And from being in South Dade, I'll drive over there just for the breakfast. I, I eat at Lots of Locks every Sunday. Oh, that's great, 152nd too. and that's great US too. 1. I eat at Deli Lane probably a couple times a morning. Deli Lane, what a legend. Huh? It's still open, still cranking. Still rocking and rolling. So simple, good. Yeah. I wonder what the oldest restaurant in Miami is. That's a good question. Is it Big Pink's? No. 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 It's got to be Joe's. Crowd? Yeah, Joe's. Yeah. Joe's just from the concept and from having a little market with the stone crabs. Can, producer Ben, can you check? Can you guys check that out? What's the oldest restaurant in Miami still active but, right now? You know, speak about Joe's. To me, when I, you know, I don't go often, rarely, I get the chicken. Everybody says that. The fried chicken? Yeah. You know, I don't go to Joe's to get the chicken. I go to get the damn crab. But I don't eat crab. But I don't eat crab. I got, I got really sick. I'm a crab, crab com but they're competitive desserts. eater. They got a brownie and they got a big stack That's of good. ice it's cream. Solid. You eat their brownie with ice cream? I eat everything. Look at my... I eat everything. <laughs> but I definitely go to Joe's for the crab. Right. He gets it. upset when I go with him to places and I don't eat. You know? No, I'm and like I'm this like, guy, the chef wants to you know, show him what he's got. You know, show, him, show me all his weapons in his arsenal. I can't And this guy, he's got like three plates. He's like, no, I'm not hungry. I'm like, bro, stay home. Yeah. Dude, what are you doing? You're embarrassing yeah. me. This guy wants to. Bro, he's newlywed. Yeah. That's right. He's trying to keep. Uh, trying, trying to keep lean. No. Trying, and I, I said, a... work out and your cheat days will be with me, bro. Yeah. No. And like the thing is, I have a trip next uh, month and I'm leaving. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to uh, Europe for my daughter's graduating. So we're doing like a trip for there. Oh, yeah. Graduating what? She's graduating from Gulliver. She's going to SCAD in, 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 in Georgia. Where, where is she going to school? She's going to SCAD in uh, Georgia. What kind of school is that? It's an architectural art design school. So, then we're, we're, so, so so we have we have a a, a, a cruise booked right my whole yeah. family like, like twenty five of us and my sister texted the, the other day no just my portion <laughs> and my sister <laughs> texted in the chat the other day she saw a picture of me online hanging out and look I look fat. big and she goes I don't think you have your summer bod ready and that thing just clicked in my mind so I'm like okay I need to like tone down and that's when I started shifting he, he doesn't I have thirty hang out days anymore. I have thirty days and you're gonna see pictures of me in a boat you know in the water and stuff and I look like a fast slob. He doesn't want to hang out anymore, Greg. No, no, no. You, it's, it's all good. He doesn't want to hang out anymore. Okay. Where's your... I, wait, I have a question for you. How in the world did you start the Grant Miller here? Where did that originate from? I think... Grant Miller here? I I really... So, speak about sandwiches. EJ Martinez. Yes, subbies. And, and you know why I like him too? He's, He's shorter than, than me. Oh, uh, yeah. He used to be our DJ back in the day when we were in, yeah. the, in the late 90s. He went, to, he went to Gulliver. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He was EJ the DJ. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But you really? Just, you just Swear diverted strictly from the question. No, no. I'll get to there in a second. So I think he started it. For real? I think EJ did. Really? I walked into his grand I opening. Saw you. you saw my sticker on the door? Yeah, yeah, of course. Delicious, that stuff. Oh, delicious. And he's got, he did a deal with... Uh, I'm a sub. I'm a sub. Uh, not only connoisseur? critic, connoisseur. I, I grew up on subs. I think I've eaten the most... Subs on in Miami. I'm a sub expert. I like sandwiches, and, and he, I love his new spot. He has a steak sandwich. It's really good. Yeah, he partners, Josh Premium Meats. Yeah, Premium Meats. It's a chopped cheese though. It's fire. 
Yeah. They're a little smaller, but I can eat three of them easy. Yeah. A little small? A little smaller. Yeah. Just because it's gourmet meat and it's a little bit more no. expensive, but but freaking delicious. You could eat three of those sandwiches? Yeah, yeah. I've eaten like seven Whoppers back when I was a competitive eater. Oh, wow. You were a competitive yeah. eater? Yeah, back when I was my 17, I used to eat for money. Really? Yeah. Remember the old raw bar in Old Color? On 84, that old raw bar oyster place? Yeah. I have. I used to have the record there for oysters. Wait, wait, wait. But tell me a little bit more about how when you used to be a competitive eater. My dad would take me to certain competitive eating things and say, go get the trophy, son. For real? <laughs> yeah. How many? Trophies? I'm proud of you, son. How, how many trophies three of them, you, three you, of you brought back home? Three? three of them. Three of them. So Damn, speak really. about sandwiches, uh, a sub place like Subbies. Subbies. I just, I just there's w- so many good ones, and I know my first food review ever is at Subs Etc. on 63rd and Bird. I still have Greg and Rosie. Still Greg and Rosie still open. It's on the left there. 2006, I believe, or 2008. I wrote it. Wow. My first one there. I used to. Lo- I used to go out to Substantials. Substantials. On that was huge for me. Subrageous. Yeah. I love all of them. The best one, too, uh, the best subs, the one on Pinecrest, 45 years. It's been Which one? There. 45 years. It's called Best Subs. Yes. Right there in Pinecrest, yeah. the opposite side. 45 yeah. years selling subs. You can't sit down inside. Yeah, I, it's I, I know it's hard to believe, but I am like a session stand yeah. junkie. If I go to a Marlin game or a sure. hurricane game, I love eating it. I love the it food's too. terrible, I but I eat it. Nah, but it's part nah, of I the love vibe. That food. It's part of the vibe. I love that food. Definitely. So how did so you were saying um, EJ from Subby started the uh, Grant Miller I th- here? I, I'm going to give him credit. But how did it, how did it originate? He just screamed out Grant Miller here, so I'm going to give him credit. <laughs> okay, it's so simple, simple. I think it was that simple. simple. If not, he's getting the credit. Yeah. And it's funny. I ran into his mother-in-law last week, uh-huh. and it's just I just love the guy. Yeah. And, sure. and people and he see owns, you. he owns Power Pizza too. Power Pizza too, which is a great healthier version of pizza. And, it's amazing. And I know that people see you in the streets, and they scream that out to you all the time. All, all the time, strangers, <laughs> strangers. <laughs> Grab That's oh. awesome. We should get a shirt of that. Yeah, yeah. So it's all it's all good. Uh, and that means people are watching us, listening to us. Yeah. And but you have a great hook. You know the videos that you do have a. You know you capture the, the attention energy. At the beginning. Once, yeah. you, once you see it, you're, you're, you get. And it. our videos are to promote Miami. Yeah. And what happened during COVID? People were starving. So I would just I do three, four, five a day, help promoting their businesses because. Every business in Miami matters. Yeah. And Miami is the number one for small businesses. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, and yeah. across the I country. did that during COVID. Support your local businesses. Made yeah. my way to CNN. Wow. I had 150 restaurant owners show up to Mojo Donuts on Bird, stay in the car with their mask, and I interviewed them one by one with their mask, take it off, record, and I put a video together with Jimmy oh, for wow. all support your local restaurants. Our betters was there. Everybody was there. And it made CNN. Wow. I was so proud of that that's, moment. That's... Literally, everybody sitting in the car in the heat of it. Now when there was coming, like, you're going to die or we're going to die. Nobody coughing each other. Sitting in the cars, and I would text them, all right, your turn, one by one. Jimmy's a good guy. That's a Jimmy's good, a that's guy. A good Jimmy's idea. Jimmy's coming on next week. That's a good idea. Jimmy's family, bro. Jimmy's family. He's done all my parties. And I love that guy. So my oldest son got married. He, he lives in Atlanta now. So there at the wedding, he has salty donuts at the wedding. His salty donuts yeah. is in, in Atlanta. Yeah. They had they had a wall, and yeah. you just take the donut off. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So the salty donuts family too. Andy and, and his wife they're very nice. And like I said, my Cuban kids, Americans, correct? Yeah, my kids eat donuts like crazy, so I show love to everybody. But yeah. Jimmy's family, Jimmy's family. Yeah. Yep. All right, brother. I think uh, this is great. Great having you here. Grant's Grant. here. Thank you for coming <laughs> on and showing us friend. some knowledge. Yeah. Spitting facts. We don't know. This guy's here, old school. This is what I want to be. Like, I like, like old school people. Ten uh, years. He's not that old. In ten <laughs> years, I want to be Grant. Yeah. How old are you? 46. You get 20 years. I didn't want to That's give crazy, away. Man, but you have a lot of energy. I told you I didn't, I didn't want to give away. He doesn't look that old. That's right. It's all good. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You got to get. You gotta go to the doctor. No, no, bro. That's still here with yeah. you guys. Bro. Thank okay. you guys so much. Follow Grant. Links are below. All his stuff. It's amazing. You got a last thing to say? That's it. That's have it. Have a great day. Thank you.